guys, so I've covered a few partition uh, managers so far, you know, Asus and um, Partition Wizard. I wanted to cover Aomi Partition Assistant, and I was going to walk you through the entire installation process, so let's get started on this. Looks like just your basic installer, you know. Accept the agreement that nobody ever reads. Create desktop icon and whatnot. Alright, let's go ahead and run the program. Alright, and here's your main screen right here. You can see that it shows each of your partitions. You can click on whatever you need to. You can right click, go to resize, merge, split, do whatever you need to do or you can use the different buttons over here on the side. It looks like right here you can they have a built-in Windows to go creator. So you can go ahead and create a bootable USB drive from 7, 8, or 10. That's awfully nice. You have to go ahead and have your uh, ISO downloaded though. Which isn't a big problem. I have a video showing where you go to get those ISOs, but on the Microsoft's website where you go to get those ISOs, you can also go ahead and create the. <sighs> Excuse me, guys, it's like 6 in the morning. I just woke up. Uh, yeah, you can go to the Microsoft website to get the ISOs and to actually go ahead and create that. So, this is a nice little feature, though to go ahead and have that built in right there. Let's see here. Oh wow, change serial number. That's interesting. Now it covers all the features there it also owns. Oh that's an upgrade and you can't do that unless you upgrade. That's pretty nice though. Not sure why you'd want to change the serial number, but that's pretty nice though. Let's see here. Settings. Let's see. You migrate your OS to an SSD. Make bootable media wizard. Let's see if we can get into that. Alright, please let the way you make a bootable media. I want to check this out. They have it built in. I know, I know Aomi had a, had a uh, PE creator. But they actually built it into the partition editor. If for those of you who don't know, a, a PE disk is a uh, a live uh, Windows uh, medium that you can boot from. Um, so if you can't get into your <sighs> if you can't get into your operating system, you can uh, boot into Windows PE and you can use a live version of Windows to. Uh, manage your system. You can do uh, virus removals, you can remove passwords, you can manage the partitions, you can all sorts of stuff. And it lets you do that from a uh, create a live P disk. Again, you have to have a uh, an ISO. But that's pretty nice right there. It lets you create the a live disk. That's pretty cool. It even gives you the option to add drivers to it. So that's nice. That's a really nice little feature. I mean, some of those let you create live disk, but they don't let you create an actual Windows PE. So that's, that's pretty cool. But other than that, it's your, it's your standard uh, partition editor. I mean, you can convert NTFS to FAT32 and vice versa. Um, 
As you can see, they've even got a button here for tutorials if you're not sure what to do. Uh, you can split your partition, resize. Now, to resize, uh, you can just click on that. And go to resize, and if you scroll out right or not scroll, but move your cursor right over here to the edge. All you have to do is drag. And you'll see that the partition size is, you know, max. But if you do this, it shows you unallocated space right there. Granted, I don't have a lot of unallocated space on this drive, but I really need to back it all up. And I do like that they can put the little warning here. It's strongly recommended to back up your data. Um, that's nice. I like that. So all you do is you'd resize that right there, you'd hit OK. Right here it shows your unallocated space that you got going on. Now keep in mind you haven't actually done anything yet in order to make that, you know, actually do that. You have to go up here and you have to hit apply. And then once you do that, it'll restart your computer and then when it comes back up it will, you know, uh, resize those partitions. So we're going to go ahead and just discard it because we're not actually going to do that right now. Um, you can split your partition, copy a partition. So say you had uh, a very large hard drive. Say um, say you had a, a terabyte drive in here. You know, you could um, right click on this, go to copy. And you could just make a backup of that. So you, you know, had a backup hard drive. You could just create a backup of this. And if anything happened to your drive, you know, you could just copy it over to the new drive, pop it in, and you'd be up and going again without any worry. Uh, you'll hear that word used. Uh, you'll hear that like well, with cloning. That's what cloning is. You're cloning one hard drive to the other. Um, which case you know you'd have to take all of this but that's what cloning is it's just copying one hard drive to the other um, they let you check your partition for errors which is nice but that's it guys it's your typical partition editor with a few nice little features that aren't in some of the others like the windows to go creator I, I haven't seen that in Isus or uh, partition wizard so I haven't seen that in those um, so that's, that's actually really nice but you know other than that your standard program it's nice clean simple uh, no extra features no fuss no ads built in it's got a nice uh, interface that you can use. Um, overall, I'd say it's definitely worth checking out, guys. Um, but there you go. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. Um, I showed you how you can go in and resize the partition. You can just drag the slider or you can just type it in. Uh, use the little buttons, whatever you want to do. Um, however you want to do that that's the easiest way uh, give the try and guys hit that like button hit that dislike button either way um, leave a comment hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it uh, my energy levels kind of down <sighs> Like I said, it's first thing in the morning. I've been trying to get this. <laughs> I've been trying to get this video made for quite a while, guys. Quite a while. It's a bit easier for me to do a uh, a uh, the text stories that I've, been, that I've been starting to do, but for me to do a screen capture these days, it's getting kind of hard. Hard to find the quiet time. But uh, there you go. I just woke up and tried getting this out for y'all. Uh, pretty basic. Check it out. Thanks a lot. See you next time.